Hey folks, I've been running up the hill here like a mad animal. I've just been told that the filming has started for outlocking. You know, my son's gone up earlier on and apparently they're filming, so I'm gonna make my way up. I tell you, one thing this is showing me at 50 something, I'm getting very unfit. I'm going to have to do something about this because if I'm going to be chasing all these film stars around the countryside I'm going to have to start jogging I think of course all the security guards that have been posted around the perimeter they always lie to you apparently they can't tell you any information because they've signed a disclosure to say that they won't talk about what's going on at the film set or when they were shooting. So, they normally tell you, yeah, it's not starting for two weeks. And then by the time you go back, it's all done, wrapped up, moved on to the next set. I've given up running, I'm too old for that. I've just stumbled upon Sean. I think he sent his drone up to film the the film shoot from up high. Oh, all that running for nothing. Apparently it's been postponed to the 5th and the 7th of November. And unfortunately I'm away to Iceland to go watch the volcanoes blowing up. And then the filming is back on the 22nd. So I think I'll head back on the 22nd of November. Maybe fourth time lucky, I don't know. There's a few people gathered now, all disappointed. We're just gonna be waiting for next week now. Uh, I'll have to return on the 22nd when they start shooting here. So, but the set is developing quite a bit now, so they've extended the little mud huts. I can see they've gone to great expense to do this, so this is going to be quite a big blockbuster. Well, after that disappointment, I'm now going to make my way to Lallybroch because I want to discuss the next episode coming up called Lallybroch. The only thing I'll tell you right now is that Jamie is in a lot of trouble. Never mind his print shop burning down. He's in more serious trouble than that now. But I'll wait till I get there. I'll talk about it a bit more. Well folks, we are back at Lallybroch today. I've come with Sean. I've come for two reasons. One, I wanted to discuss the next upcoming episode called Lallybroch. And I've come to take some photos, which I'll be giving away for free. And I'll place the link somewhere on this vlog itself and you'll be able to download these photos and print them off yourself. Put them on your t-shirt, on a coffee mug, whatever. Don't care, but they will be for you to use. It's Sean trying to get some of these photographs in. Now, before I talk to you about the next upcoming episode, I'd like to talk about the two previous episodes a. Malcolm and Creme de Menthe. Now, I noticed there were quite a few changes from the book to the actual TV series. And that may have something to do with the actual writers that they brought in to write these two particular episodes. Now, one of the first things that set me off in the episode of A. Malcolm was when Claire was showing Jamie the photographs of his daughter. Now, I can tell you, as a father, that must have been really hard not seeing your daughter grow up into a woman and seeing photographs which he wouldn't have been used to must have really thrown him. Now, the other thing that bothered me about A. Malcolm was, now I think you ladies will agree with me, there's way too much nudity with Sam Ewan and sex scenes 
Uh, I think most of the ladies will agree with me that we've seen enough of Sam Hewn's body. Uh, come on, as a man, how the hell are we supposed to compete with somebody like that? So yes, I think less nudity and more storytelling, please. So ladies, if you agree with me, please let me know. If you disagree, well, you can let me know as well. The upcoming episode of Lallybroch obviously mostly takes place at Lallybroch. And because of the print shop burning down and because Jamie's now in a lot of trouble because of his printing, um, Ham and Claire decide to run back with young Ian to Lallybroch. This is when the proverbial horse manure hits the fan. Why the hell did Jamie not tell Claire that he was married? I mean, he told her that he had a son, so why didn't he just explain that he was married and that he had children? In fact, the children wasn't even his. I suspect he didn't tell her it's because of who he is married to, and I think Claire is going to have a hairy fit when she finds out. But as we all know, a big spoiler coming up, yeah, so if you don't want to hear it, please switch off, is that Jamie is going to be near death, that his wife, in fact, is going to try and kill him by stabbing him. And although Claire runs away and doesn't want anything more to do with Jamie, she's going to have to go back to save Jamie's life. So, yes, it's going to be an interesting episode. I did find Claire's behavior in these last couple of episodes and the upcoming one a bit strange, considering that she's been away for all these years and lived her own life in America. She seems to be very upset at Jamie's new life. She's not handling it very well. Claire's behavior in creme de menthe, I don't know, it just for, for a clever woman, it just didn't, didn't sit with me. I mean, this guy tried to kill her and tried to rape her and well, when he knocked his head against the ground, she tried to save his life. Now, I know there's a lot of you that will be saying, yes, you have to save his life. But I tell you, considering the century that they were and, and where they were, it wouldn't be me. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of negative comments about this, but I wouldn't have bothered saving his life. Now, as it turns out, he died anyway, but that's not the point. If she had saved his life, they would have been in a lot more bother than it was worth. So... Here we have a conflict of our modern day lives of saving life and how people used to live back then when life was a lot cheaper. I don't know, I don't know how would you have reacted? Would you, would you have saved his life? If somebody comes into your house and attacks you and tries to rape you, he found himself to be unconscious or near dying, would you save his life? It's a conundrum. And so I'm with you, I was Sean, we're busy filming this location. I'm just gonna pass the camera quickly to him because he wants to share a new Facebook page that he's created. Yeah, so I've basically set up a page where I'm gonna be showcasing Scottish products and um, selling them to, and sending them to whoever wants to reconnect with Scottish roots and culture. Uh, I've handpicked a number of products from around Scotland, which are brilliant and kind of really represent Scotland. So there's gonna be a lot of products um, coming, which hopefully you guys will like, so go and check it out. Um, first of all, I've got a Facebook and Instagram page, which is on both accounts, it's bonniebox.scott. Go and check them out. I'm gonna go around the back of the building now, I'm gonna be quick. I want to try and get a photograph of this place from the top of the hill. This is actually the sheep pen, but there's no sheep in here today, so I'm just gonna chance it, make my way to the top, and get a quick photograph. So right now I'm just waiting for the sun to set just below the cloud so I can get a nice photograph.
going for a little wander through the forest here while I'm here. There's a lot of pheasants here. So folks, we're at Sean's 30th birthday and uh, everybody's getting their makeup on. They're getting their zombie makeup on and behind me is John. And we're going out a night in the towels and we're going to Kaylee. So that's Sean with his face mask on. Look better than usual. So we're having Halloween night. What's the place called where we're going? Kelly do. So we're going for a Kelly at Gilly do. <laughs> so that's more posing for the photograph. Right, folks, we're in the city centre, going clubbing. Uh, we're going to Sean's 30th, we're going to a Kelly, which is even worse, I suppose. Lots of booze. So this place is going to be heaving. Folks, that's the end of the night. That's how the Scottish go clubbing. So if you're ever in Scotland, you need to go to a Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs>